Hi, this is Ty Hadrali. I'm a plaintiff's lawyer. We concentrate in employment law in New Jersey and New York. So I want to discuss with you today uh, Governor Murphy's bill uh, pertaining to the minimum wage in New Jersey. And it was Bill uh, 819. It was passed January of 2019. Talked about the minimum wage at the time and how to grow the minimum wage as we grow the economy in New Jersey during some difficult times. <clears throat> so currently the minimum wage in New Jersey is $12 an hour. The aim of Governor Murphy's bill is to bring New Jersey uh, in compliance or not compliance, but in accord with other states such as California, New York, et cetera, Massachusetts, Washington, D.C., uh, that have bought on to the concept that the minimum wage really needs to be $15 an hour, even at these major uh, cosmopolitan cities with lots of workers, small businesses, struggling businesses uh, during the times of the pandemic. And so what uh, the bill in New Jersey seeks to do is have a gradual increase in the wages. Uh, since the bill has been passed, the wages in New Jersey have only grown a dollar, uh, but the target still is that by January of 2024, uh, for us to get to $15 an hour. If it's a small business under five employees, uh, the goal is to get there by, <coughs> excuse me, January 2026. So good news along those fronts. Now, if your employer is not complying uh, with the increase to the minimum wage, you do have remedies uh, such as through uh, Employment Council, there's the New Jersey Wage uh, Theft Act, uh, which says that it's a criminal action for an employer to not be compliant with minimum wage and also has uh, numerous damages and penalties such as uh, liquidated damages of 200%. So um, a very uh, significant statute that affords uh, with it uh, significant remedies. Uh, this is Ty Hyderali. Be safe and be well.